What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day. I know I am. I also want to send out a huge thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed to my channel. It's definitely encouraging to see that you guys are enjoying my first video, getting to know me a little bit more, um, and I can't wait for you guys to see what else I have in store. Those of you that are new to my channel that don't know, my name is John. I am a fashion person or a fashion professional in the fashion industry. You know, I said fashion a couple times. So this week I am going to be discussing London Fashion Week. And I love London because I feel like there's so much creativity in London. Um, there's a lot of really masterful designers that are just doing really amazing stuff. One of the top schools in fashion design, Central St. Martins, is in London. And a lot of the designers that you see at these huge brands like Givenchy, Dior, Chanel, they all graduated from that school. So London is really a magical place for me and I really enjoy the city, also enjoy the creativity and I just enjoy the atmosphere itself. I wanted to go ahead and kind of just discuss my five top favorite brands that I felt like created a feeling for me when I watched their shows on YouTube. You know, I think a lot of these designers have been working in this industry for, for a long time and they kind of really naturally graduated into their own aesthetic. So I'm gonna talk about the five brands that I felt like I enjoyed the most. It's not in any chronological order or from most favorite to least favorite, it's just these five brands did it for me. They were great in construction, great in just presenting their collection and just great in really showing us their vision and showing us what they were feeling for that season in terms of trends, and silhouettes, all that stuff. So I can't wait for you guys to see the brands that I've chosen. So designer number one is Victoria Beckham. I've been following Victoria Beckham for the longest, especially when she was in Spice Girls. And um, I just love her aesthetic, her designs, her just hers in, in general. Um, she has a beautiful family, a handsome husband, beautiful kids, just all in general. She's like the girl that a lot of, or the woman that a lot of people kind of want to emulate. In this season's collection, I was very much blown away. She kind of has this aesthetic where a lot of her designs are very easy, very um, comfortable. It's kind of portrays this like easy luxury aesthetic. Um, you can see in the tailoring, the craftsmanship, just kind of like the different cuts and the silhouettes. It was just very, very magical. Um, what I was really surprised with this year was that she played with a pattern. Um, she played with a plaid or a flannel type knit or fabric or whatever. And it really looked great. I was like, wow, like I didn't expect it. Like, usually flannels you associate it with like lumberjacks or whatever the case may be. But when you when I saw it, I was just like, wow, like this is really cool. Especially for her, for a design like this, you wouldn't see this in any of her other previous designs. So to kind of see it now, I'm just kind of like, wow, this is beautiful. Um, one Another thing that I really liked were the shoes. The shoes that she chose were like, kind of 70s and they had a very interesting curve on the heel and I was just like wow that's beautiful I would if I was a girl I'd wear it shoot why not designer number two it is JW Anderson I love JW Anderson because I feel like he plays a lot with shapes he really likes to create really interesting designs interesting silhouettes a lot of it is very much oversized as you can see in one of the looks that he showed out but I really love his avant-garde very interesting looks and really just creates unique clothes that everyone all over the world want to wear. I mean, he sold in numerous different stores, Neiman's, Sats, Bergdorf's, a lot of the high-end stores. So, and a lot of people love his uh, his designs and what he has to offer. I really like how he kind of over um, exaggerated on his, the sleeves as well as on some of the coats that he has. And I think that's kind of like the trend that's going on now. A lot of brands are doing that. A lot of companies are doing that, where the sleeves are very much overexposed. Um, and overexposed meaning like the very balloon style, like very wide, very broad with the cinched waist and I feel like that's really a lot of it's it's interesting because I, I don't see that normally here where I live especially here in California uh, well in LA but I do see that a lot in Europe when I went to Europe last year it was I was seeing a lot of that I've seen a lot of women wearing really over exaggerated sleeves very much cinched waists over exaggerated like it's just 
the norm out there in Europe. So to kind of see that here in the UK, kind of see it in the, the, the design and the collections as part of the aesthetic, um, and it doesn't surprise me because he is very much over-exaggerated. A lot of his designs, he plays a lot with shapes. Like I said in the beginning, he plays a lot with shapes. And that's just kind of like his aesthetic. And he, whether it's oversized or cinched at the waist or whatever, that's just kind of who he is. And I think that's just a great thing. And I think that's what makes it my favorite collection from him. So designer number three is Burberry. A lot of you may know Burberry. It's been around for, I believe, over 100 years. Thomas Burberry, the founder back in the 1800s, created Burberry, his namesake brand. Started off with just creating trench coats for war back in the 1800s, and now it's kind of transcended into a household luxury brand. It's been creative directed by Ricardo Tishi. He used to be the creative director for Givenchy, and he was there for about 10 years, and he kind of transcended the brand or improved the brand from it being just like a a no-name brand to where it is now. It's kind of interesting because you see that he's using his same aesthetic, his same designer aesthetic, just to kind of implement into the Burberry brand, but also kind of going into the archives and looking at the different codes, looking at different um, things that he can kind of manipulate and master and put that into his own design aesthetic, which I find very, very cool, very, very interesting. And it's just kind of refreshing to kind of see a brand that has so much history, that has so much heritage, not being regarded as a true luxury brand or a true aspirational brand, to now having that freshness, that uplift by a really great creative designer and just kind of making it more well known and just adding different styles and aesthetics to kind of make people want to buy it. So design number four is Christopher Kane. I love Christopher Kane. I love what he stands for. I love his designs. I think he's a great designer. He's only been around for about five to 10 years, so he's fairly new, but I think he's also made a stamp in the fashion industry. And I think he's really grown from where he started to where he is now. I really like how he used geometric shapes as a print and kind of created it into a coat, a statement coat that you can wear with an all black look or maybe you can wear something that complements the shapes and the colors and things like that. But it's very, very cool. I also like how he's very innovative. He uses very much different silhouettes and he just has a point of view that I feel like a lot, not a lot of our other designers have, which makes him very, very, very successful. And I think that's what's needed in this industry. Having a point of view, having an idea and just kind of implementing on that and then seeing how the world responds to it but definitely one of my favorite collections when I saw it I was just like dang like this is dope this is cool I definitely if it was in made for men I would definitely cop that just because I just like interesting things like that and it's definitely a showstopper and I think it's gonna be one of his best sellers now last but not least is Richard Quinn. He's been in the industry or he's been designing his own label for about, I wanna say five, four years now. He started off in 2016 and now he just kind of got recognized more so recently, maybe last season where Kendall Jenner wore one of his designs and his last collection last season was really, really cool and now this one that he's, he's shown is actually pretty cool itself. It kind of reminds me of this like, bondage, maybe BDSM type aesthetic, but also has really cool embroideries, cool crystal encrusted garments. And I think he just loves playing with shapes and he loves playing with prints. One of the coolest things that I learned about Richard Crane was that he has his own textile design manufacturing studio where a lot of these patterns and prints that you see in his collection, he actually made himself with cotton fabrics, silks, things like that. And I'm like, wow, like, there's no other designer, at least not to my knowledge that I know of, that does that. And it's very much well executed in, in his own way of what he feels like a woman should wear. It is very much out there. It's not for someone who lives here in LA who wants to dress more, I don't know, simple, modern, all that stuff. He's really kind of played with contouring the body and kind of shaping the body into like a very like into a very corseted shape, which is cool. But he also has very couture-esque designs where a lot of it is very like oversized, very embellished, very out there, very loud. And I think I would see this definitely on the red carpet, either worn by a Kardashian or worn by Beyonce, whoever. He's created such a storm in such a short amount of time. And I just wanted to highlight him because 
he is a new designer this brand is very much new to the industry and i think he's just doing a great job at you know creating looks that he stands by and creating looks that i feel like he wants his women to dress or women to wear and i think that's really cool thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe if you can also click that bell button that's next to the subscription so you can get notified of more videos i do have a lot more videos that i'm planning on rolling out within the next couple of weeks so i'm super excited for you guys to see them also if you have any ideas on what i should create some videos that i should make for you guys do please comment below give me some suggestions i do have a lot that i want to do but i definitely want to cater to you guys and show something that maybe you guys would like to watch um also thank you thank you thank you so much for the encouraging word from a lot of you that have reached out to me whether you know me personally or you've seen me i appreciate you guys really sending so many encouraging words and just kind of uplifting me thank you so much and see you guys in the next video peace